Hi, welcome back to my channel, and today I have another review. I have Chemical Guys, Mr. Pink, right here. I have it diluted, I want to say, yeah, it's a 150 milliliters to the, and then the rest of it's water. Usually I do 200, but I didn't fill it all the way up to the top with water anyways, so I don't want to do 200 mils, so just 150. I'm going to use it as a pre-soak, because as you can see here, salt and sand here in Virginia. Ooh, yeah. It's really bad. So we haven't had much snow, but they freak out around here and they'll lay down a ton of salt and sand. So that's what happens in Northern Virginia. We don't get snow, but we'll have salt and sand everywhere. So as you can tell, this car is just caked on with the salt and sand. It's just crazy. Wheels. I cleaned the face of the wheels a while back uh, without any water, just like a water just wash solution, just to get the fronts cleaned make them look better but this needs a full wash now do it as a pre-soak i got my bucket with the great guard not going two buckets this paint's already trashed to begin with has been since day one because the dealership decided to touch it when i told them not to they've done that multiple times every time you go into service like don't wash it and they're like oh we washed it are you happy I was like, oh. so this paint needs a full paint correction but it's starting to get to the point where this car um actually will be the i'll be able to show it Later, but someone backed into it um, in the parking lot because it's got backup camera and it's got front parking sensors, so like you can't crash the thing, but it doesn't stop for people from. There's another spot somewhere on the front of the bumper. That's the best part when it's dirty; it's covering it. But yeah, it's been running into front and rear now, so I'm. I don't. I want to do a full paint correction, but you're starting to get to the point where you're getting all this damage, so it's making a car look perfect that has flaws that need to be repainted so it's just annoying but yeah i'm not going to go full ocd mode on this one just because there's no point with it being uh in the condition it is in it's in great condition but in my eyes a car is only worth doing a paint correction on if it's perfect and you're either going to clear bra it afterwards or you're going to put a coating on it but with this needing paint work front and rear Oh, and the tailgate got hit from the garage door coming down because my mom didn't pull it in all the way, and uh, that hit it. So that would have to get repainted. That's three panels on the car that need repaint before we could even begin on the paint correction. So I got my blue clean power washer. This will be fun. So we've got all the salt and sand ready. there for a second I'm just gonna show you this side what's the whole point um, obviously you start with the roof first on any car least amount of dirt most amount of dirt is gonna be on the bottom panels right here these rocker panels especially with the mold that this has so this part this lower piece right here gets caked in uh, salt and sand so it gets really bad but as you can tell from the foam cannon and that was a great amount of suds that we had going on there i mean that's really thick and you see it just stays up there which i like so i mean you, what i want to see out of a soap is something you might not care about how thick it is but i want to see it stay up there longer which is, and that's perfect and that's barely 2000 psi so that's something you can run at any house with a power washer uh no need for gas or anything i don't want to deal with that because i'm i'm gone so much of the year that it, I'm not going to sit there and try to serve a gas uh, power washer. So, I mean, they're, they're reliable if it's a Honda, but anything else, the Craftsman probably won't start up after a while. So, I'm going to just power wash this off, and we're going to see how that uh, looks before I do a touch wash. Because you want to get an idea of how much of the salt and sand you can get off before you have to go in there and touch it. Um, especially if you're crazy about your car. If you are, you're probably watching this video, so. 
But we're not going full OCD on this car. Um, as I mentioned previously. <laughs> I can see um I can see with the water though I can see that there's still some dirt coming this way. I can see the fine bits of uh, salt and sand. That's the scary part. You really want to get that stuff lubricated well because that salt and sand is like sandpaper up against this paint. And that's why a lot of people don't recommend like a waterless wash during the winter and stuff like that. Because if you do it incorrectly and even doing it safely, you still run a really high chance of scratching the paint and inflicting swirl marks that you don't want to have. So right now you can obviously tell there is no wax on this car. I can't even remember the last time I really waxed it. It's honestly been a while because I mean that's like that's the only thing clearing up is right there. Uh, it's amazing. So yeah, uh, there's no wax. It's baffling. Yeah, it's crazy. It's just all gone. But that did a really good job at pre-soaking it. Because if I walk around and I compare all the other panels to it, you can see that most of the dirt is gone. So what I'm going to do next is I'll do a touch wash. I'll do that probably off camera. Uh, no point in boring you anymore with that. But yeah, definitely this stuff. It foams up. It smells great, and it has a really, it's really slick to the touch. So yeah, I would honestly I recommend the. Mr. Pink, I like it. It's, I want to say this foams better than the Chemical Guys uh, Maxi Suds 2, which kind of surprised me. But yeah, this suds a little bit more, and that, that surprised me. But honestly, any of the Chemical Guys car washes, if you're looking for a foam cannon wash, are probably going to be a better option than your Meguiar's, because I only used 150 milliliters, and this stuff is just really good in a uh, power wash, in a foam cannon. Because it puts pepper, they, de they designed it to be in a foam can, which I like. So it does a really good job there. And it just hasn't moved yet. Jeez. Actually, you know what? I got, Let's, I got this right here. Again, you start with the top first, but. So this bucket, I put in two capfuls, and then I use the power washer to stir it up. And I mean, that's just a crazy amount of foam right there. That's insane. Again, yes, you don't want to start with the sides, but look at those, look at that, All the suds there. So, I do straight lines. You can do whatever way you want to wash your car. I recommend straight lines, just because to me, getting a scratch out in a straight line is a lot easier than getting it out in a circle. But we don't have to go into why today. It's for another video. I've actually seen that. Well, actually, you know why? Going in straight lines, it's easier to see the angle of the. It's a lot easier to for the human eye to catch a scratch where you go circular motion. That's the other thing. So what I just did there, where I brought that back up, not a very smart idea. I don't know why I just did that. Just caught myself doing it too, because you're. When you think about it this way, when you work on the paint and you're washing it. You never want to bring down and bring up. So back here where you saw me go up again, that's a bad idea. Because again, just use common sense. You're bringing the dirt from here and bringing it up here. There's less dirt up here than there is down here. And like I just mentioned earlier, the design of this car, there's a piece. So this, 
So imagine it's flat, and then you go up, and there's a bump, and then like that. So that bump's going to keep a lot of the dirt down. So by bringing that dirt up, you're going to inflict scratches. Again, that's, that's why I mentioned I wasn't doing a two-bucket system. This car, the paint is already messed up. It's been through car washes. It's uh, probably... I haven't used the proper washing techniques all the time on it because, again, it's already got scratches. So inflicting the tiny bit of scratches more to it, I'm more, I'm the one who's going to do the work to polish it off. So, yeah, I'm making it a little bit harder for myself, but in the grand scheme of things, when it goes back through a car wash, it's going to destroy it ten times more at least. I mean, it's insane what those things do. So, I'm, I'm upset at myself, but... If I make the mistake, you know, it's my fault. I'll deal with it. But, you know, the car wash, you can't control what happens to your car in there. Or, or when you're at a dealership, you have no idea. really good um, I'll try that later but so again very good lubricant smells great foam as well so and also this stuff's not bad it's like 25 25 bucks a gallon and for how little you can get out of, how little you have to use for a car I'll use less than 150 mil I'll have leftover soap which is crazy even with the 150 milliliters I used and that's the other thing don't don't forget you wash the wheels